Today is June the 29th, and it is a Wednesday, and we have 18 yards to do today. We've already done one. It's me, Matt, and Mariah today, but before I got started, I thought I'd show you our gas prices here in, in Tennessee. It's 4.43 for the low, 4.68 and 4.93, so it's went down a little bit. And this morning, the mowers are taking $46.76. We're using the right today and the 72 inch, 72 inch Paris. And the truck took $85.91. So we're gonna get on our way. There's Matt. And Mariah's back there in the back. There, that lady thinks so. Okay, y'all, we have mowed, this is our third one, Matthew's weed eating this one right now. Now, we did get a little rain over here Sunday, so I put all these off three days. Um, they're not really all that terribly bad as far as dried up. It's because I haven't pushed it, but this is our third one. Oh. Money, baby. Alright, we're fixing to do this in here. Uh, this is 10 days on this yard. You can see it's very green. The back is always so high, although it's been starved for rain. And you can see, see that yard down there is actually, see that brown spot in that yard? We don't have it in this yard at all. I don't know what's going on here, but we do mow high when it gets hot and dry like this. And even now, we're still mowing very high. So we'll set y'all up over here so you can see what we get done.
So Mariah seen a raccoon over here on the fence. She thinks it's hung, so we're going to try to unhang it. Looks like he's been there for a while. What are you doing up there? All right, you videotape it. What are you going to do? I'm going to try to knock him off on the other side. Poor guy. All right, get over there so you can, read, you can videotape it. There he goes. <laughs> get down. Shade, raccoon go in the shade get in the shade raccoon okay hello everybody guess what today is today is July the first first day of July and we have Matthew with us today see Matthew and we have the cute one back there. See, the cute one. We're talking about Joker. And Mariah has her cute one down there. He's going to go get a haircut. Well, we're here at our first yard. Let me show it to you all. We got this part. The yard goes around on the other side of that tree. Matthew's going to mow this part here. I guess Mariah will take care of this. Oh, and by the way, um, hello, Marvin. Met a new mowing man this morning here in Blunt County.
everyone. Good to see y'all again. June really flew by. Yesterday we got 15 done. And this is a continuation from yet from yesterday. It's out of park without somebody else in the truck. We don't have Matthew today. Uh, he may or may not be leaving us. Uh, no. He may or may not be leaving us and uh, get a job for his uncle, which I actually encourage because, you know, this job is, is great if you're a very disciplined person. You've got to be able to save money up to deal with these difficult times. You've got to be disciplined. Mariah's brother does heating and airing. He's busy summer and winter. And he uh, is looking for a couple of people and I encourage Matthew to get a more sustainable job. And at this time of the year, especially, instead of his business going down, it it's, actually climbs. It's going up, 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 because everyone's heating air pumps. People want to stay comfortable. Sure. The advantage of having so many yards in the mountain areas, like we do, we did 15 yesterday, they all needed mode. So... And our, our area is like, we mowed an area yesterday 25 miles from the house. They got rain over in that section. So they grew. So we have work. Uh, today we're going to Knoxville. Now we went to Knoxville yet and mm -hmm. our last week. Saturday. And we left because they hadn't grown. But now it's been, so it's been two weeks. So... We just put everything on the two weeks, and we're going to go up there and mow. And we'll sustain this way until it starts getting wet again. And our yards in Maryville, we do have another day of mowing tomorrow. So that's, I know people says consolidate all your business in one area. Well, that's well and good if they're um, irrigated, but if they're not irrigated, and all of a sudden your yard are in one little area, you're out of business. We're not. We actually mow north, south, east, and west. So we got all of our angles covered. The two weekers are always there weekly. They're going to two weeks. So you know how we rush and we work so hard in the uh, spring and the wet times of trying to get done, it's very work, much work. Well, when it gets to times like this, when it's dried out, it kind of evens us out, and it's actually kind of relaxing. So it's it's great. You work really hard so that when those dry times come, you can actually work reasonably. And so I'm okay with the dryness. Uh, we've been getting a little moisture here and there, enough to sustain the yards for every two week mowing. So we're in good shape there. We have financially worrying, we're okay to go. So every time y'all listen to other YouTubers that talk about consolidating all your yards in one area, think about that. If you don't, if you have an area that does not get rain, you're out of work. But like I say, me and Mariah, we literally mow 30 miles north, 30 miles south and 30 miles uh, east and of course west, the far west we go is Maryville. So that's not really, we don't really have a lot of west options but our north and our south and our east sustain us. Alright. <clears throat> so it is 518 we want to thank y'all for stop, stopping in. Really appreciate y'all, and I hope you'll come in the next time that we make a video. You should be, said, someone said, I love the hat, Wes. Who wouldn't love Dolly or Dollywood? Dolly, Dollywood has really grown. The, when, we, when I first started going there, it was Silver Dollar City. Y'all are to come visit. And now it's like, it's got a lot of, matter, matter of fact, I think it was ranked one of the top 10 roller coaster parts. Who said that? Some roller coaster enthusiast. No, who's, who's that? Oh, Demand Burn. Demand. Uh, was talking about that. 
Dollywood hat. That's Matthew's hat. Matthew loves tie dye. I don't know why Wesley has it on his head. Uh, no, I don't use the apples. I know. Is there any questions in the comments? Says, Do you harvest any of the apples or grapes? I uh, don't. And some people said they're sorry they missed the live. Which is... Who said that? Wild Bill and Nana Gray 